Around 2,000 cattlemen and women from across the country are in Indianapolis this week for the 2016 Angus Convention. RFD-TV's Janet Atkinson joins us on the scene. Well, it's been a great conference so far and certainly a lot of people attending from all over the country. In fact, I understand over 2,000 attendees have come into Indianapolis for the annual convention. Now, we are joined by Juan Enriquez. He is a best-selling author, uh, an academic and also a venture capitalist. Uh, tell us a little bit first about what brings you on to the national convention. So I think the agricultural area and specific a cattle area is way ahead in technology, specifically in genomic technologies. So what we're doing is we've, we're moving from just writing in ones and zeros, which allows us to take photographs and move music and move information, to beginning to write life code. So we can now read the genetics of a cow, we can copy the genetics of a cow and make clones, and we can begin to rewrite the genetics of a cow to make the meat taste better or to make it grow faster or do a series of other things. It's, it's kind of a superpower because it allows us to do a lot of different things. It allows us to modify um, in the same way as turkeys have been modified to have extra large breasts for Thanksgiving uh, or plants can grow in different circumstances. You can have cattle grow in different circumstances, be immune to certain diseases, taste different. The choices in your choice and the consumer's choice. And definitely not the beef herd that uh, our grandparents had uh, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago. I think we'd be shocked if we had a steak that our grandparents had made. I think uh, we've learned so much about traits and flavor and quality that I think we'd, we really wouldn't like the steaks that our grandparents fed each other. So uh, putting this into the beef industry, uh, what was the message that you had for the cattlemen and the cattlewomen that were on hand and how can they employ it in their herds? So if you think about the big companies in the U.S. that didn't exist 20 or 30 years ago, that's about 21% of U.S. economic output, and it's all the companies we know, the Microsofts and the Ebays and the Amazons and the rest of the stuff. The same thing happens in agriculture and cattle, and those producers and those farmers and cattlemen who understand these changes in branding, in globalization, in sales, in taste, in traits, are the ones that survive, and the ones that don't uh, are the ones that have disappeared. Well, Juan, of course, we know not everybody can make it to the Angus Convention. Uh, where could they find more information for those who are here or those who are at home? Where could they find more information on this? So there's two or three different places. One, I wrote a book called Evolving Ourselves that you can find on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or any place. Uh, the second is I've done a series of talks on a network called TED, Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And the third is YouTube. Good information. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Again, talking with Juan Enriquez. He is a best-selling author speaking here at the Angus Convention underway in Indianapolis, Indiana. Again, as he said, you can go to Amazon, find his book, Evolving Ourselves. Now, we're going to have more for you from Indianapolis throughout the day today as well as tomorrow. On the road in Indy, I'm Janet Atkinson, RFD TV News. Thank you, Janet. And this morning, members will attend the annual delegate meeting where they conduct business and elect new leadership. Stick around for additional reports from the 2016 Angus Convention right here on your Market Day report and tonight on your Rural Evening News.